The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition, a digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one, the great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic, a crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozalski. I'm an observer. Welcome to Observer. The introduction did a pretty good job of explaining what the game's all about, so I won't say anything more about that. I'll just say I've heard really good things about it. I've played it for no more than a couple minutes, just to tweak some settings. Let's begin. Oh, and one quick thing to mention. The beginning of this game did have a photosensitive epileptic seizure warning, so just be warned if you're sensitive to those. Let's begin a new game. Lazarski, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy are. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Not in a while. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Yes. <sighs> there you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place. Securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where where have you been all this time? Away from you. <laughs> it's funny. Thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. 
Come on, Adam. Don't start. I really thought I could pull it off. You know? I was so close to making a difference. To setting us all free. And now it's... Can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Kravinsky. That's no. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Alright, here we go, I'm trying to track down the source of the call that we got from our estranged son, apparently. Adam. So yeah, if you recognize the voice actor for this character, Daniel, uh, they're voiced by Rutger Hauer, which, in my mind, for some reason, I thought, oh yeah, it's that guy that was in Aliens. And then I looked it up and it turns out, no, the guy that was in Aliens was Lance Henriksen. For some reason, Rutger Hauer and Lance Henriksen just, like, looked the same in my mind. Anyway. Look at this little cleaning bot. Hey! What? I'm not in the way. Or is that my character? It's cute. I love cleaning bots. So yeah, this game is totally cyberpunk, as you might be able to tell. All the modifications and corporations have taken over, and... This hallway is full of so many flashing lights and things, it's just like, so much visual noise, it's so loud. Hurts my eyes just to look anywhere. I mean, everything's like, moving. Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh. Tenant? Huh? I don't live in this dump, if that's what you're asking. Stay to your business. That's quite a collection of scrap you got there. 
I assume your augmentation license is in order. Order. Hmm. Stay to your business. Huh? It seems to me like you're overdue for a checkup. Stay to your business. Yeah, they do not seem to be doing very well. So yeah, it said in the uh, the very first introduction that I'm a, a leech. I'm someone who's, I guess, working for the corporations. So not exactly one of the good ones. It sounds like Adam is probably part of V resistance or A resistance, or at least was trying to do something, whereas I'm just, well, a leech, I guess, feeding off the corporations at the expense of the misery of most people. I'm leading an investigation, KPD. State your business. One of your tenants is my business. Uh, tenant? Name? Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant? Uh -huh. oh. Apartment 7. Uh, oh. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm. Door open. Very clear instructions. <laughs> the state-of-the-art holographic display offers virtual reality-grade immersion. The mighty processor will handle even the most complex calculations. The kinetic interface allows for maximum comfort and efficiency. Polymath 31A. So I'm assuming, you know, because I'm so augmented up and everything, this is probably like the advertisement information. The text that's at the bottom of the screen is probably just being like beamed into my eyes or something. Or into my brain, maybe. Tattoo gun. Oh yeah, I said um the Polish something or other took control, right? And this looks like it's in Polish, I think. The tattoo gun, laser precision, stellar performance, out of this world quality, down to earth price. I love the look of that font. Oh, it's so old school looking. So yeah, you open doors and I guess probably interact with other stuff too, I'm guessing. Sort of like in Amnesia where you you like grab the door and then you actually move the mouse in my case to actually move it. Attention citizens, curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. I guess these are all like, these protective barriers, I don't know exactly what they are. Are they really there or are they just like visual? I mean, this one's around just a freaking trash can. I don't know. We're here, we're trying to get to Oh seven. So before when I played it, I played it to the point where I got to the door and then I just stopped right there. Look at how visually noisy everything is. Yeah, okay, that sounds like a monster. Can't even go to the bathroom? The hell? What is that for tenants only? Recharge your battery. Let the invigorating force flow through you. Unique blend of sugar and stimulants will keep your mind and body going. Something bust a hole through that wall? the one, right? Yeah. 
07. What the hell? Yeah, this is exactly where I stopped before. So it's completely unknown to me now. get over you or am I supposed to be able to fit in here <laughs> can I jump I can't seem to oh hey I can see my body huh cool oh, I can move it ah there we go hope that's not blood I wonder if I have a flashlight Oh, that's blood. And that's a body. Adam? Oh my god. Place going on lockdown? Mild sedative. Dispatch, this is Azarski, ID 656210. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking great. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Operational efficiency restored. This is Lazarski 656210, setting up a crime scene. Press E to activate electromagnetic vision. I need to check the victim's compass for connections. I must button to analyze the victim's compass. This is just, oh, so cool looking. It's a shame I can't move right now. They're kind of like, very heavily trying to guide me through this little tutorial section, but I just want to move around and stare at everything in this cool vision. Okay. Is that the Six compass? Volts. Was it enough? Oh, a stun baton. Manufacturer? Tehran. I guess probably everything's manufactured by Tehran, huh? H and gotta start somewhere. Yeah, missed call from HN. Analysis consumer grade communication device. Warning illegal modification detected heavy encryption. Q to activate biovision. Oh, I love all these effects. Erratic cutting pattern, indicating the killer was in a frenzy. Depth 2226 millimeters, weapon no match found. I mean, judging by the sound I heard when I was coming in here, which I'm thinking is probably what did this, and by the looks of them, they look like just like claw marks. No match found. Contaminants detected. Failed to extract forensic data. Okay, looks like we're free to move now. Yes, yeah, so we have... I forgot what this vision is called. But like, electronic vision sort of thing? Electromagnetic or something, and then like, biological. Okay, let's take a look around. Starting from here. Oh, uh, wait, what? I pressed F thinking, hey, maybe it'll enable a flashlight. I guess it does, but it also enables this <laughs> very um, harder to see camera. I think I'd rather just not have the flashlight on at all if that's what it means to have a flashlight on. So this thing was knocked over. Something just busted through that. 
blood here. Uh, we should examine this blood. Is this human as well? Yep, also human. So they must have been here, I guess, and then probably carried over. Or slammed over there by the window. Well, hell, there's blood everywhere. I don't know. Maybe it started there and then slammed up against here. Then over by the window. Who knows what order. Do I need to, like... Printed on real paper. Oh, a little archaic for you, Adam. This game's really good looking. George Orwell's 1984. How appropriate. <laughs> so let's see. We can rotate it, of course. Quit. And we can also use the visions while looking at it. So we can examine the object for anything hidden. Okay. Can we also, like, examine... No, we can just, like, pick it up and then examine it. Okay. Wait, what are these? Processor. Sarasync 7. Tehran, of course. Pile of CPUs. It's fun to be a detective. Are those tower computers? Is that a VHS? Bunch of, I would imagine, old school stuff. Yeah, someone's definitely hunkered down here. Lots of just like food thrown all around and stuff. that. Oh, we can... Oh, we can open these. Haha. <laughs> tools. More tools. Calculator. Chiron Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. Hmm. Adam did say they were trying to do something good. But that it looked like it was failing, I guess. Maybe they're trying to infiltrate Chiron. Adam Lazarski. Chief Research Officer. Yeah, trying to do something against Chiron. really not worth putting on the flashlight. Eh. Crap ton of CDs. Is there a light switch? Look at all this, like, exposed wiring. This place really is a shithole. Medication. Synchrosine collected. Oh. Can I use it or something? Like, do I need to take medication? Let's take a look at this thing again. Mm. Oh, here's the case log. Need to find the woman who tried to contact the victim. She might still be in the building. Her compass ID was HN. Ah, oh, right. So identify the caller, leave the apartment. Uh, the lockdown triggered the apartment's auxiliary security system. My forensic vision might help me find a way to deactivate it. Right, need that too. And of course, investigate the crime scene. Nothing of interest in the bathroom. 
Do I have an inventory? Hmm. Well, I doesn't seem to bring it up. It really, there's blood in every single room. Christ, looks like they tried to grab onto the fridge handle. What's that? Controlled substance 45F, better known as feed. You'd never touch this grip. Illegal psychoactive substance. 25, 25 grams? Seems like a lot more than 25 grams. Close it to save energy. This place is so disgustingly dirty. 13th of April, 20... 2068? And so this is your apartment. Doesn't mean it's your body. Did Adam blur out the, the picture, or the, the face of their father? They said that they were trying to get away from us. I guess, uh, wasn't a very good dad. Also manufactured by Chiron. Hey, it works. And all these... I was gonna say doodles, but actually I don't think they really are. They seem kind of like scientific things. Sort of? I mean, those are definitely equations there. Some of these might be doodles. You never cared about this stuff. The hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. Might be able to decode it later. Also manufactured by Chiron. Illegal modification detected. Heavy encryption. Oh, I can't open those. Okay, um, I think it's time to try to find a way out, huh? Opened all that. Oh, didn't open these. Holy crap. Those lights just like nuked my vision. Gotta keep them out of the way so they don't make it too dark. Old school motherboard. Also by Chiron. Do we get out of here? Guess I triggered the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. See a bunch of wires. I mean, <laughs> there's wires everywhere, so don't really know what to make of that, but some wires that lead to a million more wires. Yeah, that, that wasn't very helpful. 
hard to tell what's interactive and what isn't. Everything's so dense. With, like, visual clutter. Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. And it's the spot. There has to be something. Something with this? Bingo. Ah. Well, I need a password. Oh, middle mouse button to hack. Okay, how does this work? This seems very ineffective. Okay, so we got one. The last one is four. Can I, like, keep hacking it to find the rest? Huh. Does it stay there? It does. So you can only hack it once, and then... And then what? I need to find the rest of them? I guess it'd probably be 1984, huh, the book? So I guess... I wonder if hacking always just leads to, like, a partial reveal just to give you a hint, or, or what? There we go. Ooh. Sangrazine is. Pretty sure it's this stuff, which probably acts as my health. I'm assuming I can get damaged? Downtown Inferno. Tragic accident or insurgent attack. Oh, right, that's the thing we just heard about right before we got the call from Adam. About how there's... They're telling us about how there's nobody left to talk to. Nobody for us to interrogate, because I guess everybody died in the explosion. Let's see, males... They know. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday. And today I saw this weird guy outside my window, just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I got enough problems as it is. HN. HN, isn't that who, um, who called? The last person that called? Complications. As far as our little mule goes, don't worry. I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind for now. Just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize. J. P.S. Glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. Oh, didn't realize you could scroll down. Emergency services are still on the scene after an immense explosion tore a hole in what was once a serene business area of downtown Krakow. The blast is now thought to have originated at a Chiron Incorporated Research and Development Center. Although a joint search effort has been launched by the KPD and corporate personnel, the rescue teams scouring the site are yet to find any survivors among the rubble. The exact number of casualties is yet to be calculated, but according to our sources, no high-ranking Chiron official was injured in the tragic event. As to what caused the explosion, early reports suggested a reactor malfunction, but a corporate executive who wishes to remain anonymous had his own ideas on the subject. We are not excluding anything at this point, but this has terrorists written all over it. It is precisely the sort of cruel and cowardly tactics the anti-Republican insurgents excel at. We'll have an official statement on the matter shortly. If the insurgents were indeed behind this vicious attack, their goals remain a mystery. The center conducted civilian research, focusing primarily on developing new and improved neural links and other consumer products. It seems that whatever third party was involved, their sole purpose was to wreak havoc and destruction, 
striking fear into the hearts of the public at large. When asked to comment, Police Inspector Robert Pakula gave a prompt and stern reply. Chiron executives have provided their full support in dealing with the situation. He then retreated to his squad car, clearly distraught by the events of the day. We'll bring you more on the story as it develops. Oh, we got a lot of things here. Oh, home security, I can open it. Well, there's my way out, huh? That looks like the power button. Let's look at these documents. Corrupted, 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 and corrupted. Open. I've deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. Jesus Christ. 